Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can perform isometric cervical retraction using a cable attachment at the gym or at home. In order to do this, you need to have a neck harness. I like to use a device that is called the neck flex. There are several different types of head harnesses. I prefer the neck flex for a number of reasons. Now, this is not a paid promotion, so I want you to please understand that. Netflix was kind enough to send me for no charge what is called the revolver rotation attachment, and you will see me using this in the video. So I just wanted to clear that up in the very beginning. This is not a paid promotion for the Netflix. The Netflix is a fantastic piece of equipment and I use it all the time when I train my neck. Now there is an affiliate link in the description box. So if you're interested in getting the neck flex, you can click on that affiliate link. Cervical retraction is the motion of moving the neck straight backwards where you're doing this. And when it says isometric, isometric means that you are holding the contraction. So you move backwards, keeping the chin straight without flexing the neck or extending the neck. The chin stays in the same position parallel to the floor and you move straight backwards and you hold that position in an isometric contraction. Start with a two second hold and build to a six or eight second hold. In the very beginning, obviously start with a two second hold, build up very slowly and very gradually to a six second hold, then even to an eight second hold. When you are performing any type of exercise, especially neck exercises, move through a symptom free range of motion. You want to start performing cervical retraction manually, meaning that there is no resistance. You are just moving the neck straight backwards and holding that position for two to six seconds. Now I have a video on that exercise, so I'm not going to go over it today and you could watch that video. So please start with the very fundamentals and gradually build. And once you have mastered doing it manually with no resistance, then you could place a hand on the back of the head and provide some resistance. Once you've mastered that, then you progress to using the resistance band. Now you could have a resistance band wrapped around the head or you can use the neck flex. It does come with a resistance band. And once you have mastered this exercise with the resistance band, then you can graduate to using the cable. Using the cable allows you to have resistance throughout the entire range of motion, which is extremely important. If you are using the neck flex, you can use the chain attachment or you can use the rotational revolver attachment. I recommend the rotational revolver attachment because it allows just a smoother motion throughout the entire exercise. Isometric cervical retraction with the cable can be performed in a standing position, in a seated position, or in a kneeling position. I prefer to use the kneeling position because it gives me a good solid base. Cervical retraction is nicknamed chin tucks. Again, cervical retraction is just moving the neck straight backwards and then holding that position in an isometric contraction. Now the isometric contraction is very important because it not only builds strength, but it builds endurance. So you're holding that position, again, starting with a two second hold and building to a six or eight second hold. Cervical retraction is gonna to help to strengthen all the neck muscles, but especially the cervical paraspinal muscles, the deep flexor muscles, and even the suboccipital muscles. Proper technique is essential for this exercise. The last thing you wanna do is injure your neck when you are trying to strengthen your neck. Having a strong neck is very important in preventing injuries, preventing 
recurrence of injuries, and rehabilitating injuries. Having a strong neck has also been found to be important in preventing concussions. When performing isometric cervical retraction with the cable, you want to be in good posture. If you are standing, sitting, or kneeling, whatever position you're using, make sure that your mid-back is straight and make sure that your scapulas are not protracted. You want them to be retracted. So you want to be in a strong position. Putting the scapulas in a retracted position and holding the thoracic spine straight builds a very strong base for the neck when you are performing this exercise. You also want to have the cable attachment right at about eye level. When I perform this exercise, a lot of times I will hold the attachments with my hands just to keep them away from my face a little bit. You can do that if you want to. That's just something that I like to do. I have seen other people who don't do that. It's just something that I prefer to do. And when you start this exercise, Again, you're in good posture and you want to move slowly through a symptom-free range of motion. And you are just moving your neck backwards. And once you get to that final position, then you hold that position for the desired number of seconds. Again, start at two seconds and build to six or eight seconds. Once that time frame is up, then you go back to the starting position and perform the next repetition. Start at a small number of repetitions and slowly build. You can actually build to 50 repetitions of cervical retraction. Yes, five zero. Now, please do not do that in the, be in the very beginning. Start with a small number of repetitions and build to 50 reps. And it's going to be a long set because if you're holding it for six to eight seconds per rep and you're doing 50 reps, it's going to be a long set and you're going to feel it. Trust me, you will get results. But again, start with a small amount of weight and start with a small amount of repetitions and start with a two second hold and gradually build in intensity. In my professional opinion, isometric cervical retraction is the most important cervical spine exercise that you will do. It's going to build strength, it's going to build endurance. It's going to help to improve your posture. This will help to combat a postural fault called upper cross syndrome, or some people call it upper crossed syndrome. And one of the parts of upper cross syndrome is forward head carriage. So if you are strengthening the neck by moving the head backwards, you're going to strengthen the muscles that hold the neck in a better posture. I put the instructions on how to do this exercise in the description box below so you'll be able to read through it and you could print it out if you need to so you will have it right in front of you when you start performing this exercise. And again, there is an affiliate link for the NeckFlex in the description box below. Thank you for watching today's spine health video. Please see a medical professional to make sure you are healthy enough for exercise. You can work with a medical professional, a fitness professional, or a rehabilitation specialist to learn proper technique. Viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional, working with a fitness professional, or working with a rehabilitation specialist. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, please stop immediately and find a viable substitute. When performing any exercise, always work through a symptom-free range of motion. Thank you again for watching today's video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can see additional information on the book, and you can also visit my blog. My blog contains articles on spine health, sports medicine, health, fitness, exercise, and nutrition, and chiropractic. Thank you again for watching today's video.